Lynch, yeah, Saturday was a, a dead rubber game as far as the league standings was concerned, but it was far from it for us, was it? No, like we said last week, it was important for us, um, really important for us. We wanted to prove to ourselves that that 6-1 defeat that we, we took from Aberdeen in our own rink was a one-off. And we wanted to prove to ourselves at Aberdeen that we were better than that. And uh, we did. So uh, so the game itself, we, we raced a, a three-goal lead by the end of the first. Shared the middle period and then Aberdeen came back in the third. How would you sum it all up? I thought we had a really solid game. Um, I thought we had a really good first period uh, racing into a, a 3 nothing lead. I thought we were playing really good in the first period. Um, we took some stupid penalties again um, in the second period. We sort of gave them a route back into the game. I think the first half of the second period with four penalties to kill, um, which we have to get out of game and have to get out of game quickly. Uh, we, we need to have more discipline. Um, but having said that, once we weathered that storm, we, you know, we got back to work and played pretty well for the rest of the game. They rallied hard in the third period. You knew they were going to. Um, they were wanting to put on a show for their fans, but we managed to hold on. And I think in the end, you know me, I'm not a huge stats guy, but I think we outshot them 45-31, which kind of tells a story when you're you know, against the team that have just won the league on the road. Um, kind of kind of says that we wouldn't say dominated the game, but certainly had the, the, the upper edge. And obviously, you know, winning winning the game, as I mentioned, it didn't change the league table, but it's a massive confidence boost, you know, we're going into these playoffs and we'll obviously face them in the, the Scottish Cup final. No, that's that's exactly what we said to the guys before the game. You know, we, we play, we're going to play this team at least one more time this year. Um, but we, but let's say the more important thing was we wanted to erase the, the 6-1 uh, loss that we, that we suffered here. And I think we did that. I think we had a good game against Fife last weekend. Uh, and I think we had a good game against Aberdeen this weekend. So we go into the playoffs now with, with a lot of confidence. And Chambo, he was uh, he was very hot on Saturday night up in Aberdeen. And a hot goalie, it's a, it's a big thing going into, the, into this uh, stretch of the season, isn't it? Yeah, he made some big saves, especially that second half of the first, sorry, the first half of the second period where we were, you know, penalty killing quite a lot. But yeah, overall, really solid game. Both are goalies. I mean, you know, Titch had a great game against the Kessels as well. Um, it's great to see. It's great that we've got two goalies that can that can stop pucks. Um, and yeah, it's just another little thing that we've got up our sleeve or to our advantage as we hopefully as we go into the playoffs. So we're still missing Scott Geddes on the back end, and I think Dino pulled up um, after the warm up on Saturday. But you'll be hoping to get them back and get this, the roster full fitness. Yeah, they're both in tonight. They're both going to skate tonight. I think um, Scott. Seems to think he's going to be ready to go this weekend. Obviously, he's going to see how he feels tonight after skating and shooting a few pucks. And then he can maybe try to push himself a little bit more on Thursday. Dino, it's a funny one. I'm not I'm not 100% sure what, what the issue is yet. Um, but he just seems to have some problems with one of his ankles. Um, but yeah, both guys are here tonight. Both guys are ready to train. So we'll, we'll, we'll monitor them through the week and see how we go. So the league gets done and dusted now. We need to forget about that. Move on. This Saturday... Quarter final is Scottish. Eh, sorry, quarter final the playoffs. First leg against the Dundee Tigers. We need to be ready to go. Yeah, we do. We do. Um, and it's not going to be easy. You know, if it, you can look at the Tigers and say, "Well, they finished in seventh spot," doesn't mean anything. You know, um, didn't Kilmarnock finish in seventh spot last year? And we all know what happened there. So um, the Tigers have gone up to Aberdeen twice this time and the, twice this year and won themselves. So we certainly can't underestimate them. You know, we've had a bit of success against them this year, but they've got some players that can do some damage. And if we don't come ready to play for, you know, 60 minutes this weekend and 60 minutes next weekend, we know what the we know what could potentially happen because it happened this last year. And we have to use that as fuel to make sure that doesn't happen again. And it's our last home game of the season on Saturday night. We'll be hoping for another bumper crowd and... Hopefully they'll get right behind the boys and cheer us on and we can get a decent result yeah. going into next Sunday. Yeah, last home game. Hopefully it's not the last time we skate out at Murrayfield this season. You know, hopefully we're going to be there in the in the final four. But like I say, there's a bit of work to do there first. But yeah, hopefully we hopefully the fans come out in numbers to um to give us that extra sort of edge and um hopefully we can get a good win here on Saturday night and hopefully we can take a, a nice little lead up to Dundee the following Sunday. Brilliant. Well, all the best for Saturday lunch yet, and we'll catch up next week. Okay. Cheers, Easter. Sean, it was a confidence boosting win up in Aberdeen on Saturday night for the boys and it sets us up nicely going into the playoffs. Aye, it definitely does. Uh, it was good to get a win against them considering how it's quite beer quite badly here. So it was good to get that uh, win over them and start the ball rolling. That's it, we did. We 
you just mentioned it there. We let ourselves down there a few weeks ago, and it, it was really important because I think if it was one of the games, if you lose that again, you know, it starts getting into the guy's head that, you know, maybe we can't beat this team in it, and that's a big part to play. Yeah, absolutely, especially since we, we know we've got them in the Scottish Cup final. So it's a good day. Uh, even if we didn't play them again, we've got that to go ahead that we, we beat them last, so we know we can do it. So the league's over now. It's a fresh start for all the teams. The the playoffs, it's an exciting part of the season. It's a, such a short series. There's only four games. As a player, the, is there an extra edge to it, knowing that you know, in four games' time, you could win a championship? Uh, yeah, absolutely. There's something about the playoffs, I don't know what it is. The fact that maybe a quarter-final and a straight into like a weekend in hockey, then uh, you could be able to win a trophy on Sunday. That makes it more exciting. But it is, it is good like. So we face the Tigers in the quarters, a team that we've had a bit of success against them this season, but you know we can't underestimate them, can we? Yeah, no, no chance. Uh, they've shown that they can beat teams. They beat Aberdeen twice this year, I'm sure. So they can do it. So they can turn up any day of the week. And if we're not on our game, they could turn us over quite easily. So that Saturday night here in the Lions Den, I'm sure there'll be a, another big crowd. It's our last home game of the season. And it's vital, though, that we get a, a good result to take to Dundee in a, a week's time, isn't it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You need that. You want to go be going in the away game with a good two-goal lead at least, so you can be comfortable in a away game start. So. so I spoke to you, obviously, through the season. I've spoke to a few of the lads, obviously, about the fans that we've got. And did you ever think that you'd be possibly playing in front of, you know, a thousand-plus fans at SNL level? Nah, no chance. If you tell me that before I signed, I would have slapped you, I think. But uh, <laughs> aye, it's, it's great. Like, I've never thought I would be it. And just seeing when you score, even anything, just uh, hearing the crowd roar is brilliant. And just finally, Sean, how much would it mean to you, you know, winning a championship with that group of guys? We've been together for two years now, give or take a few players here or there, but it would mean something when it's special. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think I think we deserve it as well. <laughs> Good bunch of lads as well, minus Joe, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I think with the hard work we've put in and we've came so close so many times, I feel like I feel like we do deserve a championship and it'll be good to go out with a big bang. No bother. Well, all the best for the, the Saturday, Sean, and the rest of the season. Perfect. Cheers.